I'm so excited for this. I love a good scary game. I don't know much about this game. To be, I mean, I obviously know you're an assistant to a morgue person. It's in the name of the game. But that's like all I know about it. And I know there's like creepy monstery things in it, but I have no idea what I'm about to get myself into. And I'm excited that I don't know much. I'm so excited. And this is another game like the closing shift where I should be able to finish the whole game in one stream. So the, the goal, the plan is to play the whole game tonight. My new job! I got my new job at the morgue. My parents are so proud of me. They've been nagging me to get a job for months and I finally got one at the morgue. I'm excited to go in there and cut up some bodies. All right, the mortuary assistant. Hello, YouTube. There was my intro, nice and simple. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's Whoa. nothing disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. I didn't expect like a theme. So far. Yeah. So, you haven't told me what's next. Here, I'll be quiet. Let's listen. Get a job where you are, or they actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. All right, all right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway so here that's a nice I, gift i don't know if i want that just take it please it should be yours anyway thanks all right enough spooky stuff so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? <laughs> I've actually been there for a few weeks now. Oh. My review is tomorrow. Okay. Okay. We are, right. we are gorgeous, we go. just gotta say. Hmm. Here we go, I'm in control now. I better be able to sprint with a lot of stamina. I don't have my clipboard. Oh, okay. Do I need to go potty? Do I need to go potty? Oh. How interactive is this game? Luckily we have a reflection. Most scary games don't have reflections for some reason, but I see that we do in this, which is nice to see. Oh. This is so interactive. Can I like pick it up? Oh. I'm just gonna go in here. Oh my God. My dead body. Okay. Ooh. Rebecca, great, perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Ooh. Let's get a closer, closer look at this guy. He's just having a nice little nap. Ooh. All right, gotta shove him in here. Get in there. Get in there. Feet first. Oh, okay. It's my first day, guys. Give me a break. All right, in that case, let me just flip him around. He's going for a little ride. There we go, I did it. Let me just shove him in there. There we go, have a nice little nap. See you later. Okay, now, oh. All right, 
We got a lady in here, I think. Here we go. Hello. Here we go. All right. I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Inspecting a body. I noticed a uh, something on her face. Oop. What's this? She's got a dot on her left boob. I'll make a note of that. Oh god, I did not expect that to happen. I thought she was moving like her on her own for a second. She's got something on her back. Did I did this record? No, okay. I know something was on her cheek over here, yeah. Let's take a closer look. These old windows never stay latched. That's weird. Here we go. Okay. Oh my god. Oof. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, I'm so good at this job. I'm so good. Ooh, that's something. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Sounds good, Don't boss. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. Okay. Whoa. All right. You'll die here. What was that? I didn't say anything. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> e yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Ooh. Okay. Um. Anyway. This is too much work. What am I doing? There we go. Okay. Okay. Left arm. And I believe that is it. Look at me go! Oh my god, I'm working! I don't know who whispered you'll die here in, in my ear, but maybe I was just imagining that. Okay. I did it. I'll take this. I like how they tell you where to go, it's nice. Time to embalm. I can run, thank God. All right, okay. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Wire, whoa. Wire jaw shut? What did I sign myself up for? Okay, wire jaw shut. And how do I'm we- I'm missing something. Oh my god. Whoa! They're really putting me to work here. Okay, what do I use to wire a jaw shut? Maybe this? I'm missing something. Oh. Maybe this? I'm missing something. I'm missing something. something. Do I need to be like on top of her? I'm missing something. What do I need? I don't have the wires. Okay. Tubing. Maybe this is it. Oh my god, I didn't expect to be doing all this. Oh, check clipboard. Oh, it tells me what. It tells me what I need. Okay. I'm missing something. Ah! Moisturizing. Oh, here we go. I just, my vision's so bad. I can hardly read what these things are. Okay, I need this. All right. Here. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this going to be gross? Ew. Oh my god. The noise. It's kind of like a nice ASMR noise. If you just close your eyes, it sounds pretty nice. Crunch. Whoa. There we go. There. I did it. Insert eye caps to keep eyes shut okay what are you looking at you're making me nervous eye caps here we go i should i should make i should cap your eyes shut
This will probably make my eyes water. I promise I'm not crying. My eyes just water easily. Oh, that wasn't bad. Never mind. Or what am I doing here? Oh, oh. All right. Let's keep that closed. Okay. Right. What is next? Mix embalming fluid in pump. Okay. Ah! Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. Okay. Get it. Whatever you say. Okay, it worked. All right, I'm get, I'm slowly getting the hang of this. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, I'm so good at my job. Yeah. I don't trust this man. Gotta say, I don't trust him. Keep my eye on you. I did it. Oh my god, I'm so good at this job. Make an incision in the car carotid artery and jugular vein with scalpel. Okay. Oh god, it's this is probably gonna be gross, isn't it? Ah. What do I do? Did I do it? Okay, I did. Um, use forceps to clamp. Oh my God, this is really involved. They're putting me to work. Yeah, sorry if you're eating while watching this. It's probably a little unappetizing. Oh my God, okay, just, ah. Oh. Okay, I did it. Engage pump and let the body drain. Oh my God. Oh! Ew! Oh my god! Ew! And what are you looking at? Now, what the hell was that? Hello? Y'all saw that, right? What the hell was that? Yeah, let's choose to ignore that. Okay, I did it. All right, turn off pump and remove tubes and close incision. Okay. There we go. At least all you have to do is click. I'm, I'm not, at least I'm not in here like carving them open myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now we have to fill an empty IV reservoir, reservoir bag. Okay. And I need cavity fluid. Then insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. I don't know what half these words are. What is this? Trocar. Okay. 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 Ah! Ew! Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Jeez! Ugh! Oh my god! <laughs> this is so gross. Yeah, Jin will not be playing this game, I fear. The embalming machine goes go shirshiririr baba boom shiriririr. Exactly. There we go. God, the crunchy noise. Okay. Oh, I guess I gotta go over here. Mix cleaners in bathroom closet to create tank cleaner. Then pour into the embalming pump. Okay, I'm ready to tank. All right. Oh. Now what I do with it? Pour into embalming pump. Yeah. I cleaned the tank. Apply moisturizer to facial features. Okay. Always gotta moisturize, you guys. I moisturize every night before bed. Alright. 
Giving her a nice little. Oh! What? I'll tell you what. What? <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Yeah, I think I've had enough to uh, work today. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Okay. Fine with me. I don't know why she's complaining. See you later. I did it. I Achievement unlocked my first body. I survived my first shift. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah. It just didn't feel like he meant it. Like... Like he just said it to get me out of the building. Yeah, he's suspicious. Wait a sec, I have another call. He's suspicious. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. I'm just not feeling too well. Hmm. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and... Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? If I'm paid overtime, I will. <laughs> Excellent. You were doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy sh that was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. Oh my god, she's so excited. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Wow, we're a little too excited to be cutting open bodies. Where are my keys? Oh, I love rain. Okay, where are my keys? Oh, there they are. Off to work we go. Five possible endings? That's exciting. I didn't realize that. Okay. Here we are. Nice rainy night for cutting bodies open. Let's go. Alright. Guess I'll head okay. to the back and get started. <sighs> Why did I just gasp? Oh, achievement unlocked. Throw the vase. Mr. Delver, I need help. Huh? Someone's outside the mortuary. Oh! Just try to stay calm. Oh! I know you're scared. Ah! I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. Is that him? I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. I'll just leave. I'll just f***ing leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. What is going on? Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when no, wait. Oh, that was him. Damn it. What the f This is insane. Hmm. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just That's probably what it is. Just play along. Yeah. And okay. Do your job. I'm probably just being pranked. quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? All right. Where's the phone? 
the All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. Demon? To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh... Look, I know this is a lot to take in. We just groaned getting that news. Uh, a demon. Did he set us up? This is insane. Whatever. Just get a professional one, grab a body, and get started. We're a little too calm hearing news that there's a demon running around. But okay. The night shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion. The tools used. Most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. This is a lot of information. What the hell? At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. This is a lot of information. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, I'm not going to retain all this information. Force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Okay. Finally, pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They could be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. This is too much information. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with and use 
that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. I retained probably a fourth of that. I'm a vision. I need. I need like a a list. I need like like that clipboard was great to have. Can I? Is there another clipboard? I don't have my clipboard. Oh. Oh. This is gonna be hard. I feel like. Uh. Uh. I don't know what I'm doing. Rock around with the letting strip. That's what I thought. This thing? Is that what that is? I do know we have to learn the demon's name, bind it to a body, and burn the body. That's the main thing we gotta do. Should we cremate something? Let's just jump in here and avoid the demon altogether. Oh, right. I did... Yeah, I need something in the front room. The notepad or whatever. Let's look at that. Woo! So what does this mean again? I already forgot what that means. Once it catches on fire, there will be a mark. Okay. Look in that area for a, a sigil. What's a sigil? Well, let me get my notepad. Oh, this. Okay. I'm not possessed just yet. Okay, let's look for a symbol. I don't see a symbol. Is it obvious? They really just kind of throw you into this. Is it gonna be obvious? I don't even know what I'm looking for right here. Oh! That's pretty obvious. That is pretty obvious, okay. All right, so it's like a, a seven with a little splotch to the right of it, okay? So I'm assuming I go back here and do something with these symbols. This one. Do I just... Oh. Okay. Okay. So now I do more. Oh, start working on bodies. See, I would have not have known that. So thank you for letting me know. Okay. Ooh. This is a lot of work. I better be getting paid extra for this. All right, we're going to do Stuart Donovan. Oh, this guy looks fresh. How sad. Crummy old building. Fuck me in here. Scare the shit out of me. So I got to do the bodies and in between bodies, do the little sheet thing and get a symbol and add it to that thing. So far, it makes sense now. Okay. Let's go chop up this guy. All right, let's check you out. I can't believe, I can't get over how calm our character is. Do I need my clipboard? You know what? Screw this. I'm calling the police. What? Here's my clipboard. At least I can keep track of things. All right. Oh. There we go. <laughs> God, that scares me. Oh my God. Oh my God, that scared me. <laughs> hello? Yeah, hello. <laughs> I told you he was fresh. Job. I'm getting out of here. Anyway, let's get back to my job. <laughs> this sure is scary. I'm getting back to work. 
There we go. So now I put this in the computer. Poor guy was only 35. All right. <laughs> Ooh. I can't hold anything else. Oh. I can't hold anything else. Uh. I can't use that here. Girl, hush. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to um pick this up. I'll drop it for now. There we go. All right. Just need to put this in the little folder. Time to embalm. Now I gotta embalm him. All right. All of this again? Oh, man. Okay, well, at least I've done it before. Ah! <laughs> My God. Okay, um... <laughs> oh My God. This game is not subtle. Who's there? Ugh. There we go. Okay. Why is it working? Come in. All right. All right. <laughs> This is wild. Okay, what are the stuff we need? Gluter rohala to he hide. Methanol humectant and formaldehyde. Oh yeah, I need to scribble on the notepad when weird things happen. Let me do that really quick. Let's see how we are. Top left. Oh. That's definitely a scribble. I don't know what that means, but okay. Reagent in the old cabinet. Oh, is that what I dropped? Yeah, okay. To identify a demonic ten tendency. Okay. Is something gonna happen right now? Uh... Right. <laughs> oh, I pushed pause. That was me causing that jump scare. Sorry, everyone. Tubing. Hmm. Okay. Engage pump. All right. I am so good at my job. There may be a demon on the loose, but I'm still going to get my job done. Zip that back up. All right. Why don't you let me die? Come again? Did you say that? I must be hearing things. All right. What do I do again? Oh yeah. Ooh, this part's gross. This part is gross. This is all your fault. Oh! Ah! I regret every second. Ah! Time is running out, Rebecca. I got a scribble. Oh! What does that mean? Oh my God. 
Let me just finish my job. I don't want to get fired. Sure. God. I hit an opera note. <laughs> Man, this is a lot of work. Hello? Hello. Rebecca? Rebecca? What the? Okay. Anyway. Alright, let's go give him a nice face, a uh, nice facial. Get his nose looking so good. Okay. One more thing. Return the body to cold storage. You got it. In you go. You can't yell at me in there now, can you? Alright, time for a strip. Okay. Time for a new strip. This is a pretty small building. I was expecting it to be bigger... symbol. Oh! I found it. Alright, looks like, um, like a hurricane or like a wave or something. Okay. Ugh, I'm busy. Who now? Hello? That seemed weird. Okay, I'm not I'm not more insane yet. Alright. Um this one. Does the order matter on here? I hope not. Alright, time for the next body. I'm getting a hang of this, huh? Oh, the the order does matter? Okay, maybe I should check the computer. Night shift code. I feel like that was in that drawer with his ID and stuff. Oh. Ooh, a big key. I'll be taking this. I bet it works for this door. That's not it. Oh, just goes outside. Okay. I'm going home. I've had enough of my job. Can we actually just go home? I was kidding, but I'm actually I'm actually in the car. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, six eight nine eight six zero. Six eight nine eight six zero. Woo! I'm in. Okay. Oh, see, this is nice to look at right here. This is nice to look at. I have a little list of things. Okay, I like this. Huh. Oh, okay. Fun. It's like a little puzzle and riddle we got to figure out here. But how do we know what order to put the symbols on? Like, I have this symbol, but my other one isn't on here. I have the seven and the hurricane. So it can't be in this one. Okay. It could be this. Because I have these two. Well, there's only one option. Oh, no, yeah. Did I just, did I just win? I feel like it has to be this. I think his name's Masset. Right? Like, is 
It can't be that easy. It can't be that easy. Let me just keep going, but I think I'm on the right track. All right, Robbie Day. Oh yeah, I need the right body too, okay. Well, that first body, I mean, freaked out and woke up and yelled at me, so that's definitely something to make note of. We'll see if the other ones do that. This guy is not looking as fresh. He's been dead for a minute. Our vision is not looking too good, and something was out there. My heart's beating. Am I going insane? I'm going insane. Oh right, I gotta I gotta check his markings. Okay. Just doing my job here. Total pro. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's kind of smiling. He got a little grin there to him. Oh, I need to watch that playback. Oh my god. Hello? Ah! Ah! Am I dead? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. Still in there? I want to close the door. Okay. God. I'm just trying to do my job here. No. Is this one? Yeah. Oh. What? Huh? What is going on? What is going on? Oh, where's the phone? Oh, here we go. Yo, thought you'd be hiding in the building's place. Your dad's being a total fucking loser. We're heading down to the beach in just a sec. Grab your kid and get down here. Party's gonna start without you. I have no idea what is going on right now. No idea. What was that? Oh, God. Uh, heroin kit?
What is going on? Oh my god. Let me scribble. Alright, I'm going insane. At what point do I start, like, making guesses? Because, like I said before, there's only one option, I think, for the name. Because I have the seven and the hurricane symbol. And they only both appear in this one thing, unless I looked at it wrong. Not here. Not here. So, okay. Mass it, it can be. Can't be this. Can't be that. 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 It, the, I have the name. The, the demon has to be Masset. Right? Can I do more slips or does that have to be between bodies? I have one of those. Oh. I need the correct body. Okay. Yeah. Alright, um, a little squiggle on top with a thingy like that. It was this. Now let me see if that matches up with the one I think. Yeah, look! It has to, it literally has to be this one. Hello? So we've got the name right. Hold on, I'm pausing for a second. I don't know what to do when you have the right name. Do I type it in the computer? What do I do? The order of mark will count as a name. Just take the mark and put on correct body before burning. Well, then I know what the symbol is. It's this. That thingy. A seven with a squiggle at the bottom. It has to be that. Okay. Okay, so the name, we got the name. Masset. I know your name, Masset. Can I re-listen to the tapes? I guess not. Done that. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body, okay. the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become okay. bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel. Okay. Okay. So let me do the reagent to this guy and see what happens. That first one freaked out. Now that seems demonic to me. Yeah, he moved. He, he whispered something. Like, how do I know if it's the demon or not? Let me close this door, you're right. There'll be a marking on the body. Oh. I mean, that first body jumped up and yelled at me. But let me do the reagent stuff. Oh, they'll have a mark that wasn't there before. Okay. I don't, I gotta be honest, I don't know how I would do this without y'all's help. I, like, I didn't retain that information. So thank you for the help when I need it, because... Yeah. There's more info on the computer. Yeah, I gotta say, I, half of me feels really lost right now. I'm not gonna lie. Do the dead comfort you? Okay, that makes sense. What's this? Oh. Okay, let me read this. Okay. I'm 
starting to learn a little bit more now. What's this? Alright. This working? Yeah. This thing is huge. So, uh, I guess, um, this is David. Raymond, this feels insane, but right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. Close up on his feet. Oh. There it is. F F F that it? So yeah, we just gotta figure out which body it is now. Which, again, that first one was pretty crazy. I wanna inspect it again. I'll finish this one, and then we'll inspect that body, I guess. Now, I have a feeling something's gonna happen here. Let's just see. I'm prepared for a jump scare. His, the reagent's in him. He didn't react at all. He was mumbling before. I mean, I'm leaning towards that first body. It freaked out on me. You know? But what if I'm wrong? Let me look on his back and see if there's any markings. I'm missing no, something. let me turn him over. Or do I have to completely... What's that? Why is that completely black back there? Let me close this. Or I don't want to go in there. I guess I gotta keep doing this. Ugh. I hate this part. Ugh. Use a strip in the hallway, but I 100% know that that's the name. There we go. I've got the name. I don't think I need to do strips anymore. I still gotta finish this body, I guess. Am I gonna die walking in here? Okay. Who was that? Okay, got my tank cleaner. Smiling. All right. Hello? We're closed. Yeah, let me look for scratches. Settle down over there. No demon scratches. I mean, I've got to go in there. Oh, let me scribble. Okay. Okay, we literally have to go in here to put the body up. Why isn't there a flashlight in this game? Ugh. Is that a light switch? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let me, hold on, let me go in there and turn the light on first, before we back our way in there. Good god, like, I don't like walking into dark rooms that are making noises. But we have to go in here. Where's the light switch? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, 
our vision's getting blurry. I'm gonna inspect that first body again. I'm convinced that was it. Hello? Is this a glitch right here? How was this open? Glitching? It eventually just worked. Here, let me go outside, maybe. I'm going home. Dang it. Well, this isn't fair. What do I do? Oh, yeah, maybe I can push him into it. Let me try that. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Should I check this first body again? I didn't inspect it, and he, this one freaked out. I wish I could turn him over on here. I think I should check him again. Can I flip him right here? That's a little unrealistic. I should be able to turn his body over right here. But okay. Ricky, please close the door. No, Birdo's fat milkers. In fact, I won't. I'm leaving it open. I like the rain sounds. Birdo's what? Let me say it slower. Birdo's Fat Milkers is the username. Okay, let's inspect his back. No scratches. Uh, oh, that is new. Right? So does that mean that he's a demon? Like, I feel like I hardly know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna burn him. Cause the more we do, the crazier we get, and I'm pretty convinced. Why do I feel so conf confused? Okay, I'm just gonna burn them. Because things are happening. Oh. <laughs> are you sure this is the right one? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do it. I mean, that was kind of confirmation right there. He just talked to me. How do I work this? Uh, I thought you were supposed to be in here. Um, what's this? Oh. Oh, line him up. Okay. I don't know. I feel like, what if it is the other body? Also, how have we not seen the demon yet. Like, I saw a jump scare clip from Jacob, and we haven't seen that creature yet. But I'm pretty convinced this is it. Oh. Okay, I'm going for it. That door just closed on its own.
Uh, hope I'm right. Huh? So we got possessed? We guessed wrong and got possessed. Why was this so confusing and so hard? I did not expect it to be this hard. wrong body then why did it have marks on it and why did it jump up and yell at me I don't feel satisfied I definitely did not take too long I didn't even do the whole last body or do another strip I feel like I was early I don't, I won't buy that. I, there's no way I took too long. I skipped a whole body. I got a secret ending? Well, that's pretty cool. I'm cool, ha I'm happy to get a secret ending, that's fun. Yeah, look, I didn't have one of the normal endings. <gasps> well, that's fun. I just feel so confused. Normally at the end, it tells you you got ending blank out of five and thus it didn't say any of that. Well, that's cool. Oh my God, secret ending. You're welcome everyone for watching. I, I got you a new ending to watch. I just feel, I feel so lost and confused <laughs> from doing this. I did everything right, but I got possessed? Everything seemed like it was on track. Everyone is saying different things. I don't know. If you took too long to burn a body, you get possessed. The internet says you burned a random body. Yeah, you guessed the right body, but I got possessed. Yeah, we're getting different things in the chat here. I guess I feel unsatisfied right now. I feel a little unsatisfied, I gotta be honest. I definitely had a good time playing it. I just don't know how I got that ending. <laughs> I just feel weird. I mean, the ending we got, I understand what happened there. It, clearly I was possessed and Raymond had to burn me because the demon was in me, but I guess I don't understand how we got to that point, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna play again another time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to beat it. I'm too unsatisfied right now. Oh, he put me in a cellar in a box. I assumed he burned me. I, I just, oh my God. Here, let me go to full screen. I can't believe we, we never saw the, it was like, it's like a pale white creepy demon. I was expecting to see that. We never saw it. You know what? Here's, here's my conclusion. The game glitched. Yep. The game glitched. I won. I actually won, but the game glitched. I won. I definitely had a good time. I had a good time. There were some great jump scares in there. I love getting scared. It definitely scared me, but just a little unsatisfied with the ending because I'm just confused. I thought you said to not trust the calls. I don't know. I couldn't pick them up. Yeah, I'm going to stream it again. I want to stream it again and try to get like a, a solidified ending. Next time you play, there will be different jump scares. Well, that's cool. Okay. About the secret ending. If Rebecca fails at burning a body at random with no mark or runs out of time before burning a body, the two secret possession endings occur and the player gets a sense of where the monster leaves them. She wakes up underneath the mortuary locked up in a coffin by Raymond. So I guess I took too long, which is so weird to me because I feel like I, I did it ahead of time. Well, I don't know what to say. I guess I flopped.